What's up guys? Welcome back sa ating channel. This is your teacher, Sir Gaor. And this is our second lesson with regards to special product. Product of the similar binomials. Ito po yung ginagamitan ng FOIL method. And kagaya ng nakasanayan natin sa ating channel, so magkakaroon po muna tayo ng drill. Pero yung drill natin for today, lagyan natin ng challenge para mas masanay tayo mag mental math or Uh, mas mabilis na computation. So, one minute challenge po itong drill na to. So, bago po i-pause yung video, um, kumuha po muna ng pencil or ball pen, then kumuha ng paper, and pakiorasan ng one minute. Okay. A few moments later. Time's up na po. So, we will now check our answers. For number 1, 7x plus 3x, they have the same variable x. So, 7x plus 3x or 7 plus 3 is 10. And then, we will just copy the variable x. 10x. Number 2, 6y minus 15y. So, 6 minus 15, that will be negative 9. We will just copy the variable y. Number 3, 4m minus 3m. So, 4 minus 3 is 1. 1m. So, pero hindi na natin po sinusulat yung 1 kasi understood na yun. So, the answer is m. Sir, paano po kung sinulat ko yung 1? Ang nilagay ay 1m. Sige, okay lang. Pwede naman yun since they are equal. Pero next time, uh, pag numerical coefficient po ay 1, pag 1 po yung nakasulat sa harap niya, hindi na po yung sinusulat. Number 4, negative 7d plus 6d. So, unlike sign subtract, negative 7 plus 6 is negative 1. So, negative 1D or simply negative D. Okay. So, sir, paano pag nilagay negative 1D? So, okay lang din ulit since they are equal. Again, but next time, huwag nyo na pong sulat kapag ang numerical coefficient ay 1 or negative 1. Yung number 5, medyo tricky. I hope you will get this correctly. 5C minus 4D. C and D. So, they are dissimilar terms. Pinag-aralan po natin nung grade 7 na similar terms lang ang pwedeng i-add or subtract. Kapag dissimilar sila, so magkaiba yung kanilang variable, no? Or kahit magkaparehas yung variable, pero magkaiba naman yung exponent nila, kunyari yung isa squared, yung isa to the third, hindi rin pwede. So, ang answer po dito ay yan pa, yan pa rin mismo. So, 5C minus 4D. So, wala na tayong magagawa dyan. Okay? Number 6. X times X is of course... X to the first yung isa, yung isa X to the first then So, X squared na bale. So, 1 plus 1, yeah, add yung ating exponents. Okay, 6 times negative 9, that will be negative 54. Number 8, dalawang negative sign, so positive na. 2 times, or 5 times 2 is 10. So, 10, tapos yung variables ay Y, X. So, pero nasa, dapat nakasulat siya or standard way of writing the variables is it, they should be written alphabetically. So, 10xy. Baka magtatanong, sir, paano po pag yx? Okay lang din naman yung yx since they are equal naman. Kaya lang, next time, uh, sundin natin yung standard way of writing. So, dapat yung variables ay alphabetically arranged. Okay, number 9. 8 times 7 is 56. And then, P to the first, P to the second, so i-add natin yung exponents ni P, so that will be P to the third. So the answer is 56 P to the third. And number 10, negative 9 times negative 4, that will be positive 36. Q to the third, Q squared, so i-add natin yung kanilang exponents, so that will be Q to the fifth. So, yan po yung ating mga answers sa ating drill for today. So, I hope you got a perfect score. Kung hindi man po, okay lang. Ang importante ay alam natin kung saan tayo nagkamali para hindi na natin uulitin. Another type of special products is the product of the similar binomials. Ito nga po yung ginagamita ng FOIL method. FOIL stands for first, outer, inner, and last, for example, if we are going to multiply two different binomials, for example, the quantity x plus a times the quantity y plus b, x and y will be considered as the first terms. 
while A and B are considered as the last terms. And X and B are considered as the outer terms kasi nasa labas sila. While A, Y are considered as the inner terms kasi nasa loob sila. So, following the FOIL method, first term times another first term, so X times Y. X times Y is XY. The outer terms, X times B. So, X times B is BX because we are going to write it alphabetically. Next, inner terms, A times Y. A times Y is AY. And last, yung mga last terms, A times B. So, A times B is AB. So, positive AB. Now, let's check kung meron bang terms dyan na, na similar. Tignan natin. XY. Meron po bang XY dito sa iba? So, wala. Siya lang. BX. Wala rin BX. AY. Wala rin AY. AB. So, wala rin AB. So, meaning to say, wala na tayong pwedeng i-combine. Remember, kapag similar terms, pwede pang pagsamahin. Since wala na, so lahat sila dissimilar. So therefore, that will be the answer. To understand more the FOIL method, so let's go to our examples. So we are asked to find the product of the following binomial factors. Okay, so let's do the FOIL method again. F stands for first, so X and X are the first terms. So X times X will be X squared. First terms. Outer terms, we have X and 7. So, X times 7 will be 7X. Let's have the inner terms, negative 5 times X. So, negative 5 times X, that will be negative 5X. And last terms, we have negative 5 and 7. Positive 7. So, negative 5 times positive 7, that will be negative 35. Okay, let's see. Tingnan nga natin kung meron tayong similar terms. X squared. So, wala nang X squared. Ito, pareha silang X. So, these are similar terms. 7X and negative 5X are similar terms. So, pwede natin pagsamahin. So, therefore, hindi pa to final answer. Kasi pwede pa natin tong i-combine. Okay. So, x squared will remain, will remain as x squared. 5, or 7x minus 5x. That will be positive 2x. And then, minus 35. So, wala na, so wala, na tayong, wala na tayong similar terms. x squared, tapos 2x, tapos negative 35. So, this will be our final answer. So, x squared plus 2x minus 35. Okay, number 2. First terms, we have xy. x times y is xy. Outer terms, x times negative b. So, we have one negative sign, so we will have negative bx. x times negative b is negative bx. Inner terms, a times y again, or ay. So, a times y is a y. And for the last terms, a times negative b. So, a times negative b is negative a b. So, parang yung kanina lang ito. So, check natin kung meron tayong similar terms. x y, b x, or negative b x, positive a y, negative a b. So, wala yata tayong similar terms. Kaya, we will consider this as the final answer. Okay, example number 3. Let's have the first terms. First terms are 4 and then negative 1. Or 4 and 1. 4 times 1 is of course 4. And then the outer terms, 4 times 4m. 4 times 4m, that will be positive 16m. And then, we have negative 3m times 1. So, negative 3m times 1, dahil times 1 naman siya, 
So, ganun pa rin, negative 3m pa rin. And for the outer terms, negative 3m times 4m, that will be negative 12m squared. Negative 12, tapos pareha silang m, kaya negative 12m squared. Check natin, meron ba tayong similar terms? Normally, pag ginagawa yung FOIL method na ganyan, titignan nyo madalas yung gitna. So, sa gitna, nagkakaroon ng uh, similar terms. Eto, hindi eh. B negative BX tapos positive AY. Ito naman, 16M, negative 3M. So, these are similar terms. Pero ito may squared, so hindi. So, sila lang dalawa. So, therefore, we can combine these two. So, we have now 4... 16M minus 3M, that will be 13M minus 12M squared. So, wala na tayong similar terms. And we will consider this as the final answer for number 3. Our next example is a problem solving. And we are asked to answer the given word problem. So, let us read. The length of a rectangular tile is n plus 5 inches, while its width is n minus 2 inches. What is the area of the rectangular tile in terms of n? Okay, for example, this is our rectangular tile. So, sabi yung length daw ay n plus 5 inches. So, lagay natin dito n plus 5 inches. Tapos yung width, sabi sa width natin, n minus 2. So, we have n minus 2 inches. And we are asked to solve for the area of the rectangular tile. So, what is the area of the rectangular tile? So, how do we solve for the area of a rectangle? To solve for the area of a rectangle, this was a topic from your elementary lesson. Okay, area of a rectangle is equal to Length times width. So, dapat alam lang natin yung formula. Length times width lang naman pala. So, ang length natin ay n plus 5 inches. Times yung ating width. This is a multiplication that times yung ating width na n minus 2 inches. Okay. So, we have, we have to multiply n plus 5 and n minus 2. So, Again, using FOIL method, so n plus 5 times n minus 2. So, first terms are n. So, n times n. n times n is n squared. First term. Next, outer terms. Our outer terms are n and negative 2. So, n times negative 2 is negative 2n. Inner terms. 5 times n. 5 times n is 5n. And then last terms, 5 times negative 2. 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. Okay, can we combine the two? Yes, we can because they are similar terms. Okay, so we have now n squared. Negative 2 plus 5n is positive 3n. Minus 10. Remember, this is a problem solving. So, dapat meron tayong unit. So, inches times another inches or inch times another inch will be inch squared. Okay. So, or square inches. So, therefore, our answer. So, this is our answer. N squared plus 3N minus 10 square inches. That is the area of the rectangular tile in terms of n. Okay, so para malaman natin kung talagang naintindihan na ba natin yung FOIL method, let's go to try this part. Okay, we are asked to find the product of each pair of binomial factors. So, pakikuha na yung pencil or ball pen and then paper tapos pakisagutan na. So, again, ipost mo ng video uh, pagkatapos ay i-check na natin pag plinay nyo na. Good luck! A few moments later. Ito na po yung ating correct answer para sa activity natin for 
today. So, sana nakakuha kayo ng score na 5. Pero kung hindi man, again, uh, i-counter check na lang yung inyong answers kung saan kayo nagkamali. Okay? I hope to see you again on our next video. What's up guys?